Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? In today's video, we'll be creating a easy glow effect. Okay, and please don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Okay, so let's get started. So we have the picture of the model that we're going to use here. There's a link below in the description box of where I get my pictures and also where I got the like icon. This like icon, the link is down below. Okay, so what I'll do first here is I'll duplicate this layer by clicking on Ctrl or Command J. Then I'll create like a vignette effect just to make the border areas of the photo darker. I'll go ahead and click on filter, then click on render and then lighting effect. So here in the lighting effect, I'll click on preset here and click on the drop down arrow there and go to flashlight. I'll choose the flashlight effect, then I'll go ahead to adjust this to how I want it. You can increase the light and you can also decrease the light. I used this method in a previous video, I'll put the link up there so you can check that out as well. So I'll go ahead and just make it not too bright and then I'll also increase the radius here. You can increase and decrease it, okay? So to create the nice vignette effect, not too dark, okay? So I'll just make it something like this. I think this looks good. Then I'll go up here and click on OK when I'm done. So this is what we have before and this is what we have now okay so then i'll go ahead and bring in my light icon i'll just drag it into the model picture here then i'll go ahead and click on command t or ctrl t for transform hold on my shift key and then just adjust it to the size that i want okay then i'll go click on enter then I'll go ahead and create a group for this because I'll be making series of copies for that likely I'll just change the name to like like icon okay so I'll go ahead and click on command G to group this just the like icon will be in the group so I'll go ahead and duplicate layer Convert it to smart objects. Right click and click on convert to smart objects. Then I'll go ahead and give it a blur effect. I'll go to filter, go to blur, then go to and blur. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and give it about radius of 5 or 6 is your part. Just give it 5.8 and click on OK. Then I'll go ahead and duplicate the layer once more. I'll click on command or control J. Then I'll go and click on the Gaussian blot there. Then I'll increase the radius to about 160 or 170. Let's 67. Okay. That's good. Click on OK. Then I'll go ahead to mode here and change it from normal to screen mode. Okay. So it's in screen now. I can as well just um, duplicate this layer just to give it that glowy effect. Okay. Then I can just hide all this and so I can just switch it on, switch it off. Okay. That looks good. Then I'll go back to the model layer here. Yeah. Then I can go ahead and choose my adjustment layer down here. But I'll decide to go and click it up here. Layer. I'll go to layer. Click on new adjustment layer and click on you and saturation okay so i'll click on colorize don't forget that click on colorize and then i'll change the color to like red to, to mimic the color of the light icon so i'll just go ahead and add some red to it okay not too much though just you know, it's about 80 so the 80 Good. Then I'll go ahead and change the mode from normal. I'll 
slide and change it to color I'll choose color okay then I'll go ahead and make sure my mask layer here is selected is active then I'll pick my brush tool and I'll make sure my foreground color here is black I'll put this little arrow here and I can also click on X on my keyboard okay and please if you're enjoying this video don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button there and drop me a comment okay awesome so I'll go ahead and increase my brush size by clicking on my bracket keys and then I'll just paint on the area I don't want I'll make sure my opacity up here is 100 and my flow is about 30 thereabouts so I'll go ahead and just erase the hue effects from the area that I don't want it okay so what I'll do next is I want to reduce the brightness I'll go ahead and click on my brightness and contrast layer I'll reduce the brightness a bit just a little bit and I can all increase the contrast as well just to make the color pop okay I think this this is okay all right and this is it this is the final result and let's check on what we have before so this is what we have before then the light icon then with all the effects very easy to do and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please don't forget to like drop a comment and hit the subscribe button okay i really appreciate that and also please don't forget to check out my other videos as well okay and thank you so much for watching and hope to see you on my next video bye for now